All right, don't blink. This one's quick. I'm doing good. Hey guys, doing? wow! So, how are you doing today? I'm good. Thank you for yes. having me on the show. I'm glad yeah. to be here. That was an amazing Tommy. trick you just did with your assistant there, Stacy. Yeah, right. she's my fiance as well. Oh, we're she is? Yeah, we're getting married oh, this uh, oh, this gosh. July. Yeah. Well, let's just go ahead and formally introduce you to our Valley View Live audience. This is Tommy Wind, a master magician, musician, master of illusion, which airs this summer. Yep. Yep. Tell Mason. us about that. Well, it's exciting. See, Masters of Illusion is uh, on the CW Network, and it's uh, they 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 blast every single amazing magician. They get them all together to perform on this uh, on this 13 episodes, and I was so honored. They asked me to be one of the Masters of Illusion uh, to come down. Yeah, that's one of the videos there, and uh, we were super excited about it. So uh, we uh, we absolutely said yes, and I'm going to be on. 13 episodes of that. I believe it's 13 or 11 episodes, but we did perform over 13 mega grand illusions. Congratulations. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank and you. I remember interviewing you years ago, <laughs> and you're still here in town doing your show over at your own theater. Yeah, yeah. the Tommy. It's incredible. Yep. I remember the first time I was on the show, which I was so gracious that you had me on the show. Uh, I did, uh, I was at the, the old Debbie Reynolds Casino, which mm -hmm. sadly they imploded, but uh, we moved from there. We were at another venue, and then we, we took it over, and uh, came forward and, and went to, to build the, the Tommy Wynn Theater uh, and Nightclub wow. and Event Center. So. Yeah, so how does it feel to be the youngest magician in Las Vegas? Uh, it's, it, it, it feels good. It yeah. feels good to be the, the youngest magician out here. Um, I'm 25 now. I was the youngest magician a few years ago. I'm, I'm, uh, as far as the youngest magician now, I think I still am. Mm -hmm. And uh, youngest headlining magician. And I have my own theater right. and nightclub as well, too. And uh, it, it feels good. I have yeah. a great crew, a great family. And without them, yeah, it wouldn't be possible. Yeah, your parents support yeah. you in everything that you do. You do. Right. They're here right now in the they studio do, yeah. as well. So nice to see them yeah. again, too. But how did you get your start in magic? Yeah, well, I got my start in magic when I was, I was just seven years old. My grandfather showed me how to make a handkerchief disappear and I thought it was the coolest thing right. ever. I practiced every single day and then I got my first job as a magician. I was 13 and I was doing card tricks in a pizzeria for five bucks a slice of pizza and a coke. Wow. And yeah, yeah and I told my family, I said, I really want to make a go of this. I want to be a magician. And my grandfather, he said, if you work hard enough, maybe you'll have your own theater on the Las Vegas Strip. Oh, so yeah, so okay. after a lot of hard work, a lot of help uh, from uh, my, my family and a whole lot of help from God, that dreams come true. And so I wanted to. You're originally I'm from really the excited. East Coast. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So Absolutely. how did you get out here to Las Vegas? Well, it's funny. You know, I, I, uh, I lived in the East Coast until I was 18 years old, and um, I knew this is what I wanted to do for a living. I knew at 18 that I want to go to Vegas, and I want to have my own show. Wow. And everybody told me, it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. But me and my family, we were very persistent, even though we started basically from doing those card tricks in the pizzeria to doing shows at the Staten Island Zoo. Uh, we built it up and built it up, headlined Atlantic City, went on a world tour, and then uh, built it up to get to Las Vegas. And wow. uh, a lot of hard work, but we got here, and it's exciting. Yeah. And yeah. now you have your own theater. Yes. And, yeah. you know, people work so hard to get their own theater, and a lot of people never get that opportunity. Yeah. How does that feel? It, it feels amazing. You know, every night I, I, I stand on stage, and I see a wonderful audience, and I say, this is a blessing. It, and that's what it is. It's a blessing. No matter how hard you work, 
no matter how much you put your mind to something, if you don't count your blessings, it's never going to happen. And, and I got to tell you, I stand up there and I feel truly blessed to have a wonderful family, crew, a beautiful fiance I get to perform with. And it's just, it's amazing. It really and is. when people find out how young you are, what do they say? Are they sort of like, wow? Well, they don't believe me a lot of the time. <laughs> they don't, they don't, um, what will happen is they, they say, how old are you? And I say, I'm 25. They go, okay, Re uh, really? Yeah, is that right. just, is that part of the publicity story? Or is it, you know, my grandfather does card tricks on the stage in the show as a, as a part of the show. And they say, is that really your grandfather? Everybody thinks that it's it's just part of the act, but it's real. Well, really? okay, I met your mom right before the show, and I didn't know she was your mom. And so I'm over there just giving this girl all kinds of props and everything. And so then Dow says, that's his mother. It's like, no way. Yeah. We should make her come on camera at some point. It's like, no way. Yeah. Your, your family's just young. You guys just look Aww, good. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That you would you would you would think we'd look a lot older with all the stress we go through. But <laughs> you know, but uh, but we we we. Uh, we're very blessed. You're yeah. a musician as well. Tell us how yes. you mix the both in your show. Well, what we do is it's magic, music, and martial arts all together right. in the show. So what we do is we take a blend of all three. And some of the illusions, I'm just doing magic. Some of the segments, I'm just doing martial arts. And some, I'm just doing music. And then there's some where I combined all three of them together. Uh, for example, me and my dad, we do a dueling drum segment in the show. And, uh, and then there's other parts where I do a martial arts routine with my fiance. And then there's parts where we do comedy. And it's just, and it's, and then we put, add music and my mom is actually the DJ in the show. So it's like, yeah, it's a variety show, yeah, it's a variety <laughs> yeah, show yeah. with magic involved. With magic. I, I, mm -hmm. it's, it's how did you guys all sit down together and just come up with the concepts? Or was this something that just evolved over time? Well, we came up with a concept and the original concept that we came up with the show is completely different from what that original concept was. The original concept was, was a little bit of magic, a little bit of music, variety, which it is, but the, the original, the way it looked on paper, now it's completely different and it's, it's better than what we originally came up with. But yes, yeah. it, it developed over time. Okay, yeah. yeah. So uh, your show, tell us when we can come see you and, and you're dark sure. on Wednesdays, right? Yeah, I'm only dark on Wednesdays. I'm on every other night at 7 o'clock p.m. Uh, it's at the Tommy Wynn Theater, 3765 South Las Vegas Boulevard. It's right across from the Monte Carlo on the Las Vegas Strip. We're 21,000 square feet. Uh, we host our own nightclub there on uh, every weekend, and then uh, we also have an event center. We do big events too, and then uh, we have an amazing hypnotist and comedian there as well. And uh, Justin Trance and Vinny Favorito now performs oh, there, Vinny, okay. and uh, yeah, and he's he's performing over there. And then uh, my show is every night at seven, yeah. family friendly. The biggest question I always ask: families can come. Oh, you guys are an American dream come true. We're going to have to talk more about the success Thank story you. of your family, and we're glad that you're here. And you guys may be wondering why, if you saw at the beginning of our show, there is a gallon of milk <laughs> on. The table. If we're going to take a shot of that, okay. Guess why? Anderson Derry is in the house, and we're going to be talking to somebody in a little bit about how we can help celebrate National Dairy Month. In the meantime, are you guys ready to talk about what's trending? 